Hey guys, welcome back to the Build and Beast YouTube channel. Uh, today we're gonna start deburring this block. So I'll just run you through basic idea of what I'm doing. Yeah, so we're just deburring this. Uh, I'm just gonna go over basically all the edges, any sharp edges, anything that's got you know, like little even around here. See, so yeah, there's little. Little bits of the edge of the casting. Just anything that could potentially fall off and end up in my oil. That's what I want to get rid of. Not only that, but make it nice to to work on and put together. No sharp edges. Um, on the last one, I end up doing all around here and that as well, but I don't think I'll do that this time. It is a bit risky if the die grinder slips off and runs across the face then I have to deck it a lot more to get that out of it so I think I'll skip these bits for now not too worried about burrs and stuff ending up in me um, coolant which it shouldn't but uh, I'm also worried about the oil but just modifying LS's different vibrations whatnot Little bits and pieces could come off, might make no difference at all, but it's just a little bit of finesse tidying stuff up. And yeah, so I'll put this on time lapse and just show you. Like, I'll go around all the outsides of the block, any sharp edges anywhere, just makes it nicer to handle as well. So, yeah, stay tuned. This is the burr I've got. Got a little ball nose on it. It's not bad.
Well, we've got her all deburred. Glad I deburred it because there was actually, it might have been this side, there was actually a big, big chunk sort of sticking up with casting flash. And as soon as I touched it with the dog on, just flicked it straight off. Might have been that side, I think that's got the fresh ones on it. Um, and yeah, especially up under these, there was some little casting flash that could have potentially come off at some point, so I sort of just run the die grinder under there. It's only you wouldn't really see, but um, yeah. Other than that, no sharp edges on anything. Should be good. Pretty happy with it. Get hard to get to all of it on the back. I just done the majority of everywhere I could sort of get to around the engine stand. Um, yeah, it should be ready to clean this up properly. I'll um, get a order a tap, the proper tap to do these. I think there's the M11 by two millimeter pitch. So I'll clean those out, and yeah, this thing will be ready to. I really want. I'm thinking of keeping the block raw I don't decide whether to go raw or paint it black I'll see how I go trying to clean it up if I can clean it up and make it look like a brand new block then I'll leave it raw but if not I may paint it black just so it looks new not that you'll ever see it, it'll be in my patrol but um, I might get a little countersinking bit I'll just countersink these ones um, yeah, other than that everything's all nice, no, no sharp edges, which is good, and yes, that. Yeah, like I said before, I left these ones alone on my last one. I Yeah, done this in the last one, all these, but I did have a close call, I think, when I um, was die grinding it last time on my other block. I think I might have just nicked out somewhere where it wasn't as critical, but not really worth it. I'll just leave it as it is, there's no dags or anything on them. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try and get a blasting cabinet or something maybe that I can try and clean all this down with. I want to soda blast it if I can. It seems to get it back to that nice raw finish without affecting any of the surfaces, all these ceiling surfaces. So, see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'm going to take. I'm in an hurry about the cam bearings. I think I might um, might take them out. I'll replace them. And uh, made up a tool last time, but I ended up getting the machine shop to install them. So this time I might do it myself. I've got the tool there. I just never end up using it. So, yeah, too easy. Alright, guys. I don't know, that was probably, there's not really too much to that video. Uh, it's just the same thing as d -bearing. but part of the process, at least for me, uh, makes it nicer to work on. Just gives you a little bit of peace of mind that no bits of crap are going to fall down in there over time and potentially end up in a bearing or in your board or whatever. Uh, so, yeah. No, I'm pretty happy with it. Another step complete. Now it's just cleaning to go for the block and replace cam bearings, but I'll do that right at the end. I'll do that after it's all cleaned and basically ready to go. I'll pull them out and then put new ones in. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, let me know.
I'll answer them in the comments. Uh, I don't know if I showed you in this another, another video, but... Oh, we got? This is just a little Rockwell Dremel. I think it was like 50 bucks for that in a whole kit. It came with this uh, big... It's like a... I don't know, six, seven hundred mil long cable drive for it. And works awesome. It's just you don't have to have the big chunky um, hand piece in your hand. You can have a little pencil bit on the end of it. Uh, the camera's going to focus. Let me see the bit that I've got. I actually paid, probably paid 30 or 40 bucks for that bit, maybe. I just want a nice sharp burr, otherwise you'll find that it will sort of grind it and mush the burr out and run your hand along it or whatever, it sort of displaces it rather than cuts it out and removes it. Uh, that would be especially critical for uh, around the main caps and stuff, I'd deburr the edges of everywhere there as well. Um, so I wanted a nice sharp bit so I definitely removed it rather than yeah, basically displacing the edge and mushrooming it over or whatever and potentially holding a main cap up. So, But yeah, we'll see when we get up to uh, installing the crank and bearings and checking clearances and stuff. Now I'm going to reuse the stock bearings. They're all fine. I don't see a point in changing them. They don't look like they're worn. There's couple of marks in them but I'm gonna reuse them but I'll still uh, check them all do off a data sheet of all my clearances and everything uh, same goes with the weights of I won't be balancing this one as just putting it back how it was but I will document how much each piston weighs and con rod and so on and so forth just so if I ever have an issue and I need to replace one I'll know how much that one weighed and I can just replace I can make one of my spare ones the exact same weight and hopefully just slide that back in uh, yeah I'm not going overboard on this one I'm not forging it or anything as much as I'd like to so I'm trying to keep it as cheap as I can whilst replacing everything that needs to be replaced so I can get another couple hundred thousand out of it, hopefully. It'll be in me daily. So, uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Alright, uh, like always, subscribe if you haven't already. There's a button just... Just up there. Just up there. Press it. Go on. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. See you guys. Catch you next time.